Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah, dear students of class nine. Welcome back to the online class of Tungi Pilot School and Girls College. As usual, expressing my cordial gratitude to the honourable principal, along with all of, all the teachers who have been helping him to make this campaign successful. I like to start my lecture today. Dear students, you know that according to the routine, uh, I am here with the students of class nine. Though this topic is uh, appropriate or useful for the students of ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. In continuation of the class uh, of the previous class, uh, I I am uh, starting to discuss about the use of apostrophe. in sentences and this topic <coughs> is actually uh, is uh, is in uh, punctuation and capitalization grammatical topics okay let's start today uh, topic the use of trophy use of apostrophe you know that apostrophe uh, is a mark or sign that is that takes position uh, uh, upper level okay Not just like a comma, apostrophe uh, is like a comma, but it, it it takes position upper level of the words or letters. Okay, let's start today's lecture. Apostrophe. First, uh, when uh, to use apostrophe to indicate omission of letters or to form contractions. That means when you need to omit. Uh, omit any a letter or more letters uh, from the words. Uh, sometimes you, uh, in some cases, you um, need to use apostrophe. In example, you can um, you you can see this in details. Uh, a can't can't can't. Actually, this is a contracted form of cannot. That means from cannot. we can write can't with an apostrophe with an apostrophe t okay so uh, this is the first example of omission of letter that means we have omitted here n and o these two letters this low two letters have been am omitted from these words okay number b it's it's what does it refer you know that it refers it may refer it is or it has that means from it is or it has you can write it's just by using an apostrophe s after it by using an apostrophe s it's uh, from it is or it has you can write another example you have Even here, uh, you can see that an apostrophe has been used here, and here the omitted letters u a. Ekhane, here a a is uh, omitted, and uh, d gobbed. That means gobbed, gobbed. Here, a uh, few letters have been omitted. Government from government. we can write gobbed that means government okay next example to form plurals to form plurals of abbreviations acronyms and single letters or numbers to form plurals plurals of plurals for abbreviations acronyms letters or numbers okay let's see the examples she earned two phd's she earned two phd's from purdue university here you can see phd phd abbreviation 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 and we use here apostrophe s that means phd phd's this is a plural number 
of PASD because two PASDs that means plural to indicate plural we can use to indicate plural of abbreviation or acronym we can use apostrophe s okay next example b sakib scored 12 6 sakib scored 12 6 here you can see i have used apostrophe s that means just i like to refer i like to mean that 6 12 6 that means the plural of 6 the plural of 6 so you can use here because this is the number we can mention we we mention here that you can use apostrophe to indicate the plurals of numbers plurals of letters plurals of acronyms or abbreviations now next example dot the i's and cross the t's dot the i's and cross the t's i's that means in your writing in your writing you have written a lot of i's or a lot of t's but you didn't dot the i's or you didn't cross the t's in this situation in this situation you have been uh, ordered to dot the i's and cross the t's okay uh, I, I i think you have understood next next another use of apostrophe to show possessions that means who owns or who possesses something who owns or who possesses something if we need to indicate the position then we can use apostrophe after nouns after nouns okay let's see the examples the driver's car the driver's car what does it mean that means the car belonging to the drivers the car belonging to the driver that means the owner the owner of the car is the driver that means the driver is the owner of the car here here we indicate the possession of car that means the driver owns a car the driver possesses a car possesses a car so what does it mean the car belonging to the driver is the driver's car the driver's car here i have used apostrophe s next children's hats children's hats or children's toys children's apostrophe s that means hats belonging to the children hats belonging to the children i mean the owner of the hats the owners of the hats are children or the children are the owner of the hats next for nouns ending in s sometimes we can see some proper nouns that ends in s and if you need to use the possession and if you need to use the uh, possession of that noun then you can use apostrophe but not before s rather after s because the word or the proper noun ends with s let's see the example socrates socrates is house what does it mean the house belonging to socrates you can see that in this word in this word s s uh, ends s ends in to the word so as this word this word ending with s so if you 
mean if you uh, express the position of Socrates then you need to put a put an apostrophe after is after is that means any singular number or singular personal pronoun plus personal noun or proper noun that ends with is you have to put you have to put apostrophe after that is in the end okay next girls college girls college here you can see that girls this is a plural number this is a plural number of girl and you if you need to use the possession of girls that means plural numbers possession then you need to put the apostrophe after s i repeat you you will put the apostrophe after s if if you need to put the apostrophe after after the plural number that ends s then you have to put the apostrophe after s in the end girls college that means college belonging to girls belonging to girls okay i think that uh, all of you have understood today's topic clearly and you have to keep in mind you have to keep in mind and if you uh, if you need if you need to uh, remember this then then you you have to you have to uh, write down in your exercise book and uh, so that so that you can uh, revise it sometimes and uh, that's all for today and in the next class i will be with you uh, with another uh, another punctuation uh, with the use of another punctuation and till then stay safe and uh, you you remain well thank you very much